Now on Thursday, July the 23rd, five courageous individuals from Tipperary will begin their four-day 600k journey from Mizzen in County Cork to Mallon in County Donegal to raise funds for the Tipperary branch of Down Syndrome Ireland. Now one of the brave souls taking part is Noel Buckley. Noel, of course, is an assistant uh, principal at the presentation in um, in Clonmel, but he joins me in the studio now. Noel, good morning to you. Good morning, friend. Uh, I'm exhausted reading that introduction, don't mind to say that. <laughs> 600k. Yeah, it's 600k. We're going to do it over four days, starting in Mizzen. In fact, uh, this day a week, we'll probably have about uh, 50k done by now. Uh, so it's um, it's a long cycle, but mm. it's for a very worthy cause, and it's for a cause uh, for Tipperary people, uh, Tipperary Down Syndrome Association. Believe it or not, there's over 100 families here in Tip um, who avail of the facilities here in Turles. Uh, so it's an organisation that doesn't get any government funding. Mm -hmm. So it, it depends really on parents and voluntary groups to fundraise and um, Michael Hassett, uh, one of our cyclists, has a Down syndrome child himself and he was talking about doing Miz and Tamellan and we discussed and uh, about a fundraiser and uh, there's a team of five of us now, uh, Conor Ryan originally from Dundrum, John Fitzpatrick from Clawheen and uh, Mick Hayden from uh, Turles, Michael Hassett and myself, um, all literally mid-tip and a few south-tip people. So we got together at the end of January and we've started training. So each of us have done about 5,000 kilometres training at this stage. So I think we're <laughs> we're ready for it. You're almost ready, which, yep. which is a great honour. You were telling me you weren't on a bike for, what, 30 uh, years? I haven't been on a bike for 35 years, but I got back up on it in January and uh, I'm fit now. Right. Uh, so um, it just shows if you put your mind to something. But you must, have, you must have retained fitness in some way. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I've always, I'm into gardening, mountain walking and a whole uh, range of activities so I've never been unfit right okay uh, but it, 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 like I mean what's the great motivator is the worthy cause itself because I suppose COVID has been a huge challenge for the Prairie Down Syndrome Association mm. normally they'd raise funds through bagpacks church gate collections flag days coffee mornings and various other charity cycles and so on that help out but a lot of those have been cut because of COVID mm. so there's a huge funding gap and I don't have a Down Syndrome challenge myself but I've talked to parents who have had uh, since and you just become aware of the huge challenges they face not just the challenges of taking care but also the financial challenges for instance one of the biggest challenges a Down syndrome child has is mastery of speech and language which all of us with healthy kids take for granted mm. and that requires um, a speech and language therapist regular sessions and so on the help board provides a total of four per year, four sessions, 45 se minute sessions per year totally inadequate for the child basically most parents have to fund the speech and language themselves and a speech and language um, session is about 80 euros so you can imagine the financial Just implications very costly indeed, so yeah. that's why the Tipperary Down Syndrome provides um, such a vital service uh, it isn't just speech and language it provides it as an educational therapist as an educator myself and we've all seen our children when they were young grapple with mastering a pencil and a pen and hand-eye coordination that's required for writing well that's a huge challenge for a Down syndrome kid and that's the role of the, uh, the educational therapist uh, in helping them master the basics so that they can progress uh, in education and um, I suppose it provides a network as well for parents to meet, to share experiences and so on. Um, but they also provide play therapy, dance therapy, because uh, physical coordination uh, is, course, is, yeah. is a challenge. So uh, the milestones a normal child reaches effortlessly they have to be planned for and supported with a Down syndrome child. So parents have, uh, have, have to educate themselves on that, but also have to find the resources to help them achieve those milestones. There's such a lot. And again, as you say, it's only when you become exposed to everything that's involved mm. that you realise it. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and then occupational therapy and a whole range of mm. things and and that's the brilliant service that the Prairie Down Syndrome and recently they brought a, a bought a premises in uh, Abbey Road mm. in Turles, uh, Sweetbriar and uh, they're now beginning to furnish out that up to the end of a renting a premises in Cashel so furnishing out so they have a permanent home now and it's right in the centre of the county so it means all families from south, north and mid tip and we, we own my old friend the lint of the Prairie uh, can access yeah. it in terms of a reasonable distance. Uh, we're as of this morning, uh, we have eleven thousand two hundred euros uh, raised. raised for the charity already. Yeah, uh, so we're hoping, and that was from one hundred and ninety-five donors. Right. So it just shows uh, the generosity of people here in Tipperary really and, and, and businesses. So people can get involved with this already then and donate. Oh, and yeah. How does that work? Yeah, well, we have set up an I donate page and mm. the simplest thing to do is if you Google mizzle Down Syndrome, uh, it'll bring you to the page. Um, and that's one way. Uh, you can, uh, most people would know us. Uh, Michael Hassett is a teacher in, in Cashel Community School. I'm a teacher here in the Prez, uh, Conor Ray is well known, the horse and jockey and, and John Jerome, Mick Hayden uh, works in Dublin but would be known around uh, Turles as well and John Fitzpatrick works in Clahine. Mm. So if you know any of those individuals you can give them a ring, make contact with them. Uh, I'm from Holy Cross originally my brother Eamon Buckley, most people would know him up mm. there and lots of upper church connections as well. So, And uh, if you want to leave money into their premises in, in uh, Abbey Road in Turles, there you'll see the signs Down Syndrome. Uh, that's another option. Um, but and we also have a Facebook page. If you, um, mm. uh, again, Google Mizzle and Down Syndrome, uh, it'll bring you to the links and show you what's happening. But I'd appeal to the people of the Prairie, we would hope to raise a minimum of uh, 20,000, uh, whether you're a business or a private individual. And I've just been bowled over by the generosity of, of private individuals. To give you an example, I was out on a cycle one day, taking a break, uh, actually uh, going down the Blue Way, and and um, I met this man and he said, uh, God, are you into the cycle? And I said, well, I'm only getting back. And this was early February. And I was explaining what I was doing. He said, come back to me near the time and I'll sponsor you. And I called back last week and he donated 200 on the spot. Did he indeed? Yeah. So I, I think yeah. it moves people because I'd say in Tipperary here there isn't, uh, we're not, none of us are too far away from knowing somebody who has a child yeah. with Down syndrome. Yeah. And that brings a personal story. Yeah. And uh, it also makes you grateful for the fact you have healthy kids yourself. And I think it's, it's lovely to be able to give. And one of the things we have learned from COVID is the generosity of Irish people. Uh, it, it, when they, we saw through the Late Late and other various groups of our fundraising, the amount of money that was donated yeah. uh, by ordinary people. It's, it's one of our good points. We're very, very generous mm. uh, in, indeed. In terms of uh, the, the bike ride itself, then how, how many K per day? Well, you, we're able to do about 150K a day. So we start in Mizzen next Thursday morning and we're aiming to cycle and arrive in Mallow on Thursday evening, alive and well. So we'll take a break there, sleep overnight, and then we leave from Mallon and uh, we'll be going through to Prairie on Friday week mm -hmm. uh, if people want to come out and, and, and support us. So, what part of Tipperary yeah, will you go now, through? Yeah, we'll leave Mallow up through Mitchellstown onto Care. So we'll be in Care about uh, roughly around half 11 if you want to plug into me we'd, on the we'd cycle love to catch up with and you on keep, the way, yeah. keep it updated. Mm. And then we move on to Cashel and we aim to be in Turles, we aim to be in Cashel maybe around 12 and Turles maybe around 1 and then we move to Burr so that'll be our base camp for the second night and then the next day we move from Burr to Inniskillen and finally on Sunday we move from Inniskillen to Mallon like the first day at 150 kilometres is probably the toughest day we have 1,600 metres of climbing to do uh, over that 150 kilometres and um, the last day is uh, uh, 1,000 metres plus as well so lots of oh I presume you have some service guys going with you as well well you? yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're blessed uh, I'd like to thank Seamus Hannafin in um, in uh, Turles, who has managed to secure his, uh, a backup bus, a uh, minibus, to provide the services and so mm. on. 
and uh, Anthony Daly is offering his services free uh, to drive it. So again, that's another example of the generosity of people rowing in and uh, various companies have, have sponsored the fuel for it as well. And I think the one thing I want to emphasize is it's, it's a thing that uh, I suppose worries people often donating to charity. Where is the money mm. going? Mm. Um, any costs we have in this cycle, we're funding ourselves. Right. Uh, so every penny you give goes directly to the Prairie Down Syndrome uh, Association. Mm. Uh, to be spent locally. To be spent locally. And there's a, there's a team, um, you know, as you know, Fran, in any organisation, there's always a team of co-workers co co who keep it going on a daily basis. Mm. Catherine, clearly there in Turles is the chairperson. And then Siobhan Ryan is the Grants and Development Officer and has done fabulous work in organising that. And Anne Griffin, Ma Marie Kenny, Sandra O'Halloran, and Anne-Marie Keane and Colette Hayes, all of those do the daily work that has to be done and it's simple things like coordinating the speech and language classes that parents can avail of, mm. setting up the education of play therapists, developing now the premises itself which is a huge challenge and to secure uh, funding to do that uh, and uh, because of their work parents are able to avail of that facility and able to be supported in enhancing the development isn't, of their child. Isn't it fantastic yeah. altogether? Will you keep up the cycling after this? Uh, oh, most, de most, most definitely, yeah. Um, for anybody out there that's worried about uh, weight gain and so on, I can tell you the beauty of cycling is you can eat like a horse. Uh, <laughs> because you keep burning it. Yeah. I'll give you an example now as part of the training. Yesterday we cycled from Turles out to uh, Templemore, Ross Grey, Moneygall, Tumivara, Dalla, back through Creaney, Milestone and Upper Church back into Turles. That was 115 kilometres and 3,800 calories burned. So, uh, so you can I, eat away. I can, you can eat away. <laughs> but I, I think one of the t fantastic things I think COVID has taught us and even cycling down, down Dungarvan there you know, last week weekend is it's great to see families out cycling yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. It's great to see that intergenerational thing of families doing things together and um, and if Don Garvin has taught us anything and the blue way here is that if you create the facilities for people to use with safety they, they will, will avail them. of it and yeah. I think we're I often say about the town of Clonmel it has the potential to be the recreational capital of Ireland. It has such beautiful facilities and there are beautiful scenery, mountains, rivers uh, and the works and now we have the Blue Way and it's crying out to be developed but um, it has been fantastic here from my point of view of training the network of roads around it's, it's uh, just brilliant, train. Isn't it? yep. yeah, so just to finally if people want to donate then for yeah. this fantastic mm. cause which is Down mm. Syndrome Tipperary uh, just to remind them again yeah well if they if they google Ms and Mellon uh, tip down syndrome uh, they'll find the link page to the i donate page they can uh, donate electronically there's also a facebook page Ms. and mel and down syndrome for those that use facebook as the dominant social media and they'll find links there mm. and as i said um uh, michael hassett uh, teaching in Cashel community school living in turles as well known connor ryan from dundrum originally living in the horse and jockey there mm. myself noel buckley here in the john mel and uh, john fitzpatrick in claheen and mccaden and turles if you know any of us, if you want to ring us, my own phone number is 87 87 And Fran, what I might do with your producer is I'll leave the details if you want to put That'd them up on the TIP Facebook page. And um, I would love to think by this day next week we have at least passed the 15, 16,000 and I'd love to think by the time we arrive in Malinhead on uh, next Sunday week we have reached 20,000. Excellent. And I think that's quite possible. Well, we'll check Jerry's in with very you. very generous we'll, county. Yeah, if you yeah, want to we'll check, check in, in with on you the cycle. The way. We yeah. certainly will, yeah. Uh, we'd be delighted uh, right. to do that. I, I'd go with you except I wouldn't like to show you all up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if people want to come out and support us and it's great if Tiff FM are checking in and the way yeah. we'll be able to give you more accurate estimated times oh, as we're as we're arriving along. And the one thing we hope is we'll have the southwest ways in our back and um, sunshine along the way. And it'll be great. it will be great to see people in in Care, Cashel, and Turles and Templemore oh, really well. uh, come out. We'll, and we'll make us. sure we remind them of it all. Yeah. Noel, well done to you and everybody involved with you as well. Thanks. And uh, thanks Fran, you. thanks to you and Tip FM for all the anytime, work. Well. And and thanks. Uh, I particularly want to thank uh, that group of parents who run to Prairie Down Syndrome.
who are the silent workers in the background, but for whom the parents of Down syndrome children are eternally grateful. All right, okay, Noel, thank you. Good to see you today. Come Thanks on, very Noel. much indeed, uh, Garmin Margaret. Uh, Noel Buckley with us there. It's 10.23 right now. Back in a moment.